Hey guys, welcome to my first ever product review. I received this iCook multi-functional pressure cooker a few weeks back and finally I have some time to try that out and hopefully through my review video, we'll give you enough information to decide for yourself whether or not you should purchase one for yourself at home. Out of the box, it's pretty straightforward what you get, the pressure cooker itself. So, let's open it and see what's there inside. The port itself, covered with plastic. Instruction manual. Power supply cable. Warranty card. A rice spatula which could stand. And a rice cup. Let's begin by taking a closer look at the inner port. As you can see, the outer layer of the port is probably made of aluminium, I believe. And then from my observation here, we can see that there is another middle layer and that's probably stainless steel. And the inner layer is non-stick coating with measurement on the side. Then next, the lid are made of stainless steel and plastic the plastic feel the plastic feels okay to the touch and then we have here is a lid to control the steam but turning it to exhaust is to re remove the steam and turning it to airproof is to trap the steam within the port and underneath the cover looks pretty easy for cleaning up next let's look at the control panel of the pressure cooker as you can see here there is indication of low, medium, high of the internal pressure and then along the side of it there is presetting rice, porridge, soup, bean and lentils, cake, meat and chicken, fish, pressure whole time, cancel or keep warm. And the main body of this port is made of stainless steel. Here is the power supply port and also a trap to collect the dripping steam water then the most important part is this inner layer of the port which is really thick to hold the pressure the inner layer of the main body is constructed with thick and heavy steel and coated with a very durable coating and lastly the bottom of the port is made of some regular plastic as you can see here Next, let's cook a little bit of rice with it and see how does it turns out. So I have a trickle of rice with the regular amount of water that you would usually use in a regular rice cooker. Do make sure to wipe it dry before you put it back in. Close it securely and let's just select the pre-programmed rice function. Oh yeah, also to remember to switch the pressure valve to airproof, otherwise the pressure couldn't build up. As the internet pressure build up, I noticed that the lid become hotter and hotter. These do burn my finger. So it has been about 10 minutes. I believe it has reached the desired internal pressure and the indicator have shown P here. So I believe the 10 minutes countdown starts now. Yup, 10 minutes and it's done. Then next, let's release the pressure. To do this, simply switch the pressure wall to the left facing the exhaust indicator. Once the internal pressure becomes relatively low, what we can do is we can gently lift off the pressure wall. This could hasten the process. And then you see the pressure indicator had fall down. This indicates that it is safe for you to open the cover now. Well, the rice looks well cooked from a naked eye. Let's take a few scope and see how does it fare. It is a lot more moist than using a regular rice cooker. So this shows one thing, we save more water. I think that by using this pressure cooker, we probably save about 20-30% of water. Let's do an end test with it. Let's braise some beef. Usually when you braise beef, it's going to take about 1.5 to 2 hours. So here I'm using short ribs and the water is just about an inch above the meat so I'm going to drop some salt and some black pepper close it and 
then I will need it to be high pressure probably about 45 minutes let's try it with the lentil setting time oh yeah it's showing high pressure now blinking at a high indicator yep 45 minute high pressure that's what we're gonna try here okay 45 minutes have passed the water level it's about the same as we started this is good and now is to find out the pressure did the pressure level really goes up to high if is that goes up to high then the beef would be really tender and sort of fall apart let's see mmm this is really soft oh oh it just tear apart without any effort oh this is good so the braised beef just now was so tender and fall apart without any effort usually when you do a braised beef at home it's going to take about one and a half to two hours but right now 45 minutes you got braised beef at home let's say a soup that you usually boil for four hours now it's probably going to take one and a half to two hours so that save about 40 to 60 percent of cooking time which is really great so during the cooking what i found out is it's really quiet except for the two minutes when um, i was releasing the steam other than that it's so quiet there's no buzzing sound You are going to ask me would I buy it or should you buy it is it worth to buy it well I cook from USA two years warranty certified by Sirin Berhad why not but yeah on top of that certification by Sirin Berhad two years warranty could only means one thing this means that this product is really safe it's not going to explode like what a lot of people say danger of using pressure cooker well that's it short review about this I cook pressure cooker if you guys intend to purchase this pressure cooker, well, you're in luck. I managed to get a discount code from them and I'm going to insert the code down in the description link below. So use the code to buy it to get extra discount, don't waste it. And should I make recipe with this pressure cooker? Let me know in the comment section below. Bye.